Hello everybody, welcome back to Kaiserreich as we're trying to reform the United Kingdom peacefully. Uh, we should get it this episode, I would imagine. We're getting the R.E.D. right now, so we're basically already like halfway to where we want. Basically, we need the R.E.D. and then we need to get these four focuses, and that should be good. I mean, I think we already have enough men. Our troop numbers are looking fine with the Wallonia Crisis. We'll see how that uh, plays out for that revolution by force. Will you guys fight? You declared war on them. Will the French intervene? I don't know. It looks like they're not going to get involved. You know, I guess it, you know, it makes sense. You don't want to slide the back or the, the, uh, the Third World Krieg too, too early. So it's October right now. Let's go for... You know what? You're 100%. Might as well do it now. Let's go for superior firepower, as well as, I don't know. You know, let's just get concentrated industry. We're only like a few months at a time. Not not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, so it looks like France is not going to help them out. The colonial, the communal republic is just going to die. A very, very sad fate. Just keep on assigning all these guys to the home guard. Things are looking pretty good for us, I would say. All our cities are defended. We don't have to worry about any counter-revolutionary forces, right? Uh, right, T. Lawrence? You don't got to worry about that nonsense. So it gives a bonus to airborne and mountaineering divisions. That's not like, that great, but it could be worse. Modified government. No, I don't. You know what? I'm going to get somebody just so you can go away. Let's get decryption and supply consumption going down. Sure. These guys are all going to change afterwards anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Not even going to worry about it. So the RED is almost ready to go. I'm training up like a lot of men. We're going to be like so under equipped once we actually... Um, Once we actually become the United Kingdom and having to re reassign all these troops to being uh, not awful. I mean, we have a lot of tanks. We have a lot of artillery. I mean, we don't have that many. We actually have uh, 287, which isn't a lot. There's only enough for like three infantry divisions, which is pretty bad uh, considering what we're doing right now. So, you know what? I think it's time to start cranking out everything else right now. Like that. Getting, you know, a handful more artillery pieces. Not a bad idea. So let us now go and research. So it's again still November. Still 1936. So let's go for a nice construction speed upgrade for 88 days. Not too bad. You know, I would like to build all these factories ASAP. So Jack Reed's been elected president of the United States. We'll see what he does. Of course, that's not uh, great for us. Considering that it might boost up the CSA uh, in the Civil War. Yeah, 52 divisions. That should definitely be enough. Okay, so we got some elections in Italy. They've gone legionary, which means they have now gone national populist. Which does mean they, they could attack the Austrians. We'll see what actually happens there. So we get the political commissars. We can't do the revolution focus until T. E. Lawrence is in the country. And we have given him a spot on the Revolutionary Council or whatever it was called. Rebuilding the Kistel Palace. A park for the people. Sure, why not? International avant-garde. Whatever, like I don't really care too much. The creation of the international avant-garde. We're really just trying to... Let's restore monarchy, France. Art and music. So 40... How long is this going to take? How long are you guys? 60 days, 60 days, and 60 days. So we're looking at about... 2... 4, 6... Like half a year. 7 months-ish. So yeah, it is going to take until about mid-1937. So... 
I mean, there's still like 15 episodes, 15 minutes of this episode left, so we should be fine. The FOP requires manpower. Absolutely not. Don't worry about it too much. I'm sure you guys will be fine. I mean, I've never seen you win, but I'm sure you guys will be fine. Anti-colonial committee. Of course, we don't actually want that to happen. And I don't know when you get inaugurated. It's sometime... In January. Or it might be like March. I know they changed it at some point, but I don't know when they changed it. We've got another 20 days here. Political power will go down uh, slightly. So if I can spend that early on something... Like, I would like to go back. I'd like to go to partial mobilization, please. Just so we can get my military factory building a little bit faster. How long is this going to take? It's take another, like, 12 days. We should get four points, but then 12 days. I'd rather be in the negatives than be at zero. There we go. Political commissars are almost ready. Black consumption, recovery rate, reinforcement rate. Those are actually all pretty decent. Yes, yeah, so we get T. Lawrence. Get him in charge here. Do all these increase? Po yeah, all these will increase totalism. So we're gonna go for um, war support. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter which order we do these in. So now that T. Lawrence is in our uh, nation, he's in the military. So he's doing whatever the hell he is doing. We should be good to go. Now it's more or less just a wait. The European Federation. Oh, you does he, you just won an election. Oh. Okay, I've never seen that happen before. I guess the Spanish Civil War is not hard-coded like the American Civil War is. At least not yet. It might change it in the future. So what do we want to research now? It is, 90, it is 1937 now for like actual now. So let's go for the improved machine tools. Try to get as much equipment as we possibly can. The French army is looking pretty strong. Soliding Spain. I'm sure you will try to join at some point. Yeah, you can approach the commune. Or attack Portugal. Which will theoretically launch a pretty strong Entente resistance. Because I mean, Portugal's not in the Entente right now. But they do join basically every single game. Yeah, so negative 15 political power. You know what? That's not even a big deal. It could be a lot worse. Also, is the mu music louder than normal? I'm going to change it. I'm going to lower it ever so slightly. Maybe I'm just crazy, and I probably am a little bit. You know, democracy, squad tactics, anybody doing anything too, too crazy. So Russia's also gone um, syndicalist. I don't even know where the Soviet Union went. I guess they just like had a peace deal or something. Like, oh, they stood down if uh, Bukharin is in charge. Bukharin. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. But the, the syndicalists are having a pretty strong game right now so far with the Iberian Federation. Russia and the United States all going towards uh, the syndicalist. If we were studying as Union of Britain, we'd be having a pretty good time. But we're, you know, as we're switching to the Entente, we're having some big issues, I would say. You know, some things to worry about. Staying off in America. Did they actually? Okay, so they went for sweeping reform. So that basically strengthens the CSA. Was well, generally, I think, the best one you can go for. We got the Pacific States, we got the United States, CSA, and the AUS. Who's going to stand on top? I have no idea. I'm just hoping that the CSA loses. Anyone else who can win, it doesn't matter to me. Just that the CSA has to lose. Because they will absolutely destroy Canada in the event that the United States joins uh, the International. Just absolutely crushed them into dirt. We got three more days till we can uh, unify Britain. There we go for the Grand Protector. We got two of our texts done. Fantastic. So what do we want now? 
You're 300 days, and again, I don't know if I even get to take you. Let's go for like two extraction. No, we'll go for one extraction, and then we'll go for... Maybe some anti-tank weapons? I, will, I don't think it would be a bad idea. International Scientific Cooperation. Indonesia is trying to get its independence from the Dutch. You know, we'll see how that goes. Um, I, I mean, I've never seen them win. You have 10 to 15 division. Even the Dutch East Indies has like almost as many men as you do. So, and I'm not, I'm not very hopeful on their chances here. You know, we're at 60 divisions. That's definitely enough. So I'm going to cancel all these guys in queue right now. Just, you know, storing up our weapons. Second American Civil War has begun. Fantastic. Apparently, New England has not... Okay, never mind. It's just going straight to Canada. Wait, what? I can't say... Can it... I mean, they all don't like me. I could just cancel it. Negative 50% stability is terrible, though. Like, that's insane. Negative 50% stability being like, nah, the international is cancelled. I mean, we're going to cancel it in, like, a few months. So, like, don't worry about it too much. Maybe I also want some, like, anti-air troops. Any interception. They're all, like, very, very... You know, let's get some better planes while we're here. I don't know if those are going to, like, 147 days. Like, we got about 100 days left on this. We're at 21% world tension. Mostly from the United States in their civil war. Not a huge surprise. We'll see how this actually turns out for them. So, we got about 30, about 45 divisions here. The CSA has a massive, massive army to begin with. And we got New England as well in the Entente. Will they get involved? I'm not too sure. Again, I don't know what the exact requirements for Canada to join are. Got planes and reserves. Don't even worry about planes and reserves. At least not right now. We'll, we'll stockpile them. It's fine. Keep on building up our military inf infrastructure. We want that for get a Spartacade. Yeah, so we got 90 days. Three months, roughly. So, May, June, July, sometime in July. Everything should be going okay. So, Panama has joined the Entente. I'm guessing they got control of the Panama Canal. I can't really tell. It looks like the, the Pacific State Tracks are doing extremely well right now, which is surprising. I've never seen the PSA win. Support the CSA, absolutely not under any conditions we're going to do that. Yeah, we're just not going to support the CSA. What if we just get all of our planes? Fly to one airport. Just every plane in the country. Go to the Greater London area. We'll combine these guys as much as we humanly can, and then we'll just basically go up to 100. You guys can go up to 100. You guys go to 200. You guys go to 300, and you guys can also go to 300. And that should be fine. Apparently, nope, they immediately got filled up. The John McCain explosion. Um, First Union of Britain. Very, very sad. Apparently, we actually need more, more planes here. That's fine. Just put the planes in the thing. It's fine. We need a bunch of new planes as well. We need strategic bombers. We need carrier fighters and carrier paddleable planes. Well... I mean, I'll, tr I'll build them. I'm not going to, you know, focus on them too much. The American question. Spare nothing. Give them nothing. Fried weapons, thousands, guns, industrial machines. We can't spare anything. You know what? 8% stability, that's fine. Don't even help the Americans. I'm sure the French are, so it's not even a big issue for us. So we have another... 12 days until we are ready to go. We'll become the General Secretary and Grand Protector of the Union of Britain. We're not helping anybody at all. Are you at war yet? 
No, but I'm sure you're probably getting Argentina. Probably a little bit upset with all of you. Doesn't look like anybody's really the southern menace. More recruit population. I mean, if Canada just attacked the CSA right now, that'd be kind of interesting. Two Sicilies have joined the Reich's Pact, so... They're all getting a little bit worried. Right now, the International is getting slowly squished by the Reich's Pact. I mean, it's going to be even worse when we actually uh, queue the government. Yeah, work for the World Unite. That's cool. Um, but we're going to have the, the, the king coming back, so everything should be okay. Uh, we do not want to give him the power. I mean, this is basically what I did the very first time. Or not the first time, but the, the time I did it where it was actually successful. So it should still work. I'm hoping. If it doesn't, then I'll just do the, um, the in-game event that will allow me to do it immediately. Maybe it's a little bit cheaty, but that you know it is what it is. The fall of Washington, of course, it's already fallen. Not a huge surprise. The federal government always has a difficult time. Like, it's just hard because they get kind of like a little tiny strip here and it gets cut off so easily by two sides. So let's go for 1937 tech. Let's get more fuel, maybe? You're all 1938 tech. You know, let's get the anti-aircraft weapons. It might be, it might prove useful. Foundation of the Belgrade Pact. No, it just basically means Bulgaria is going to get destroyed. We'll see how that actually works out for them. We do have 234 political power. We can't go to war economy or anything like that. We're still expert focus. Can I get anybody who's just like construction speed? Who won the death selections? It looks like the social liberals did. That's fine. Not a huge uh, problem. I mean, it's not a problem at all. It's actually probably better for us that that's happened. So how much longer do we have? We got another... 43 days. Can I get through the 43 days within the next three minutes? I think so. And then... Because I, I would like to start off next episode as the United Kingdom. Yeah, the American the United States. MacArthur always just does badly. I mean, it's difficult. It's probably a very difficult situation to actually have MacArthur do something strong and like win without without player intervention. I should say. Yeah, no, they just immediately lost. Good work on them. Not a huge surprise there, I would say. This area is going to get completely swallowed up. So the CSA, who actually has more troops? You have like a hundred and three divisions, probably. You outnumber both of these guys, I'm pretty sure, so... Uh, yikes. Not great for us. We do need some Aluna, we'll get that from the French. Again, if we were actually playing an international playthrough, we'd actually be in a really nice spot right now. Oh no, you've actually gone, uh, Mark Liberal. So I don't know what happened to Bukharin, but he's gone now. So don't worry about him too much. Or Bukharin. One of the two. We got another 17 days, like two more weeks. Room National Spirits Militias. Organization and planning speed. I mean, like I said, those are some pretty... I mean, planning speed is not actually, I don't think, that important. The division organization minus 20% is dreadful. Like, that's really bad. Peru's to get a war in Ecuador. We got some anti-tank weapons. Probably can use those in the future, but not right now. So let's get the better tanks. 140 days, but again... I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to basically reset all of my techs. The so Brazil's gone. National populace like Argentina. Peru's at war with Ecuador. A lot of stuff's happening. To say the least. So I am going to save the game right now. Because I don't know if there's any RNG involved with the event. But if there is, I would prefer things go smoothly. Saudi Arabia's joined the Cairo Pact. I don't know why Iran never joins it anymore. They used to join every single time, now they don't. The Venetian Revolution. So basically, when we get to this screen, what we want to do is declare martial law. We want to lay down our arms. 
And then the Lord Army has counter -cued. Today, as we try to take control of the country, we, what we thought were loyal army elements suddenly turned on us. Control is now in the hands of General T. E. Lawrence and his junta. So there we go. Now T. E. Lawrence is the man in charge. And beginning the next episode, we will actually form the United Kingdom. So I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, remember to thumbs up. If not, enjoy, you can always thumb down. Want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.